remember, after the axillary artery passes the lower border of the teres major, the name changes to brachial artery, and the brachial artery is going to branch into the radial artery and the ulnar artery. So let's label those. This is the radial artery, and this is the ulnar artery, brachial being this one up here. Now, we're going to have this branch, which is the deep brachial artery, and the deep brachial artery runs behind the humerus in the radial groove with the radial nerve. Okay, And this deep brachial artery will have branches. It'll have the radial collateral artery and the middle collateral artery. So radial collateral RC and then middle collateral MC. Okay, Now over here we're going to have the superior ulnar collateral artery, SUC. And then below that, off the brachial, we'll have the inferior ulnar collateral artery, okay, IUC. All right. Now down over here, branching off the radial, we'll have a, an artery that goes back called the radial recurrent artery. And then off the ulnar artery, we're going to have this common interosseous artery. And the common interosseous artery is going to branch into the anterior interosseous artery, AI, and then the posterior interosseous artery, PI. Now branching off the posterior interosseous artery, we're going to have an artery that runs up behind the elbow, and that's going to anastomose with the middle collateral artery, and that's the interosseous recurrent artery, IR for interosseous recurrent. Okay. Back to the ulnar artery, we're going to have an anterior ulnar recurrent that runs anterior to the elbow. A U R. Here we've got the posterior ulnar recurrent artery. Posterior ulnar recurrent. The radial collateral artery will anastomose with the radial recurrent artery. The middle collateral artery will anastomose with the interosseous recurrent artery behind the elbow. The superior ulnar collateral artery will anastomose with the posterior ulnar recurrent artery, and that will also anastomose behind the elbow. And then the inferior ulnar collateral artery will anastomose with the anterior ulnar recurrent artery. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.